Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another tutorial video and today we are taking a look at uh, seed crop. So the grain crops in the game, utilizing the cedars to plant the crop. So let's get into it. Alright, so what we've got is we've got a field, a field that's fertilized, stone removed, everything's done, ready to go. Identical tractors and as cedars to carry out this test. So moving from left to right, we've got wheat, we've got barley, we've got oats, We've got canola, we've got soybeans, we've got sorghum, we've got all seed radish, and we've got grass. All right, so the plan is we're just going to plant one row of each crop, and then we are going to observe how long they take to grow. So let's get this worker underway. So I'm just going to hire it with a worker to keep it as uniform as possible. So we'll do one strip of each crop, and then we'll see how long each one takes to grow. Now we've got weeds turned on also, so we're going to see if weeds impact uh, the growth at all for each crop. And then we will see what happens. Alright, so that's the wheat. Alright, next one along is the barley, so let's get the barley underway. Now I am expecting to see pretty much identical planted states. So when the machine runs over the field, I'm expecting the appearance to be the same for all these cedars. So they should be all identical. Okay, let's check the field quickly. Uh, so we do need to do the, we need to do rolling. So I'm going to omit the rolling this time, just because I want to have a uniform test, and I'm not really concerned about the yield. Okay, so we can see we've got barley there, wheat there. All right, let's move on to the oat. All right, that is the oat. So 54% yield bonus for oat. All right, next one along is canola. All right, let's get this canola in and underway. All right, that's the canola. So as we go through this, I'll explain what the crops are used for and what you can, how you can sell them, turn them into productions, etc. But we'll get these planted first and then we'll go from there. So the next one is soybeans. So don't worry if you're new to the game, the icons will become more familiar over time. And you'll, you'll find yourself probably utilizing the same crop over and over, depending on what productions you set up, how you want to play. So soybeans, as we can see there. So one thing I use a lot of is soybeans and wheat, and also sorghum. So pretty familiar with those crops. All right, let's get this guy underway. So this is the sorghum. So, so far we're having pretty well uniform, or well, pretty much exactly uniform appearance on the seeding. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of impact the weeds could potentially have, if any. Now I'm anticipating they're not going to have any impact, but all right, here we go. This is oilseed radish. So if you're not familiar with what oilseed radish is, it's basically what the game calls a green manure. So it's a cover crop that we let grow, we plant and then we let it grow. And then we, we uh, plow it back in to give us a fertilizer bonus. So it's cheaper than using our conventional fertilizer and I think if you're playing with precision farming it gives you an environmental score boost but I'm not 100% sure on that someone in the comments will probably know so if you do know let us know below all right and last one is grass so you can see that signified by the grass icon and there we go so let's dismiss that guy let's check out this little row we've just done so grass etc Right, let's take a look at the cedars in the shop quickly. So in the tool section, we're using the Amazon KG301. So you can see there from left to right, it does wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oilseed, radish, and grass. Okay, so that's pretty much uniform for all the cedars. So that is the crops that they will plant. Now, if you wanted to do corn, cotton, uh, canola sunflower you'd need a planter so we'll have a quick look at the planters just for just for reference so you can see the crop that they do have in common is soybeans but they also do uh, sugar beet cotton corn sunflower and that's pretty much so some of them don't do canola some of them this is a mod so disregard that slightly different planters cedars okay all right, there we go. So we're planted. We uh, let's go and check our map quickly. All right, so on the growth map, we can see the oilseed radish is nearly ready to harvest. The grass is well, not yet, not yet growing, but you can see the colored lines there to signify the growth states. Okay, our soil composition 
should indicate needs rolling, which it does. So we're not going to roll that because we just don't have. To, we're not going to do that step this time. I'm not too worried about the yield bonus. This is more just for the uh, growth stages of the crop. So let's let's leave it there and let's sleep for one day and see what we come back with. So I'll throw up the dates on the screen as well. All right, here we are, day number one. So we've got our first first growth stages of each crop. So let's go through the row and have a look individually. So what have we got here? This is the wheat. So currently no weeds. We've got unit, we've got no fertilization, so that's not going to impact our bonus. But the visual will look the same. Okay, next one along, we've got the barley. This looks very much very similar to the wheat. Uh, this one is the oat which I think looks a little bit different. Maybe it's a lighter shade of green. Uh, this is the canola. So you can see it's got a different visual appearance. This is the soybeans. This is the sorghum. Oil seed radish ready to harvest. So basically what we would do now with this is we would cultivate and plant again and we would get a fertilization bonus by uh, cultivating in this all seed radish. So it's a quick growing crop uh, designed to give us fertilization without having to use a liquid or granular fertilizer. Uh, and this is our grass. So let's check our ready to harvest map. So you can see there the growth states. All right, let's go and sleep again. All right, here we are again. So wheat, no change. Barley, no change. Uh, the oat has grown. The soybean, uh, the canola looks basically the same. Uh, the soybeans have grown. The sorghum has grown. All seed radish, still the same. And the grass is ready to harvest. Okay, so now if we go to, so grass has got a special menu now that I remember. So you can see that there. And all seed radish indicated there. Okay, cool. Check our growth map. So I reckon the Oh, looks like the sorghum's probably ready to go very soon. So let's just sleep again. All right, here we are. So I'll throw, I can't remember what day it is, but I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, wheat, still growing. Barley, still growing. Oat has grown up again. Uh, canola still looks the same. Soybeans, I think they've grown again. Uh, the sorghum is almost ready to go. All seed radish ready to go. And the grass is ready to harvest. But it's just grown a little bit higher as it would normally. All right, sleep again. All right, here we are next day. So wheat is still growing. The barley is still growing. The oat is ready to harvest. So that looks like it's going to be possibly the first. Maybe the, maybe the sorghum's ready to go as well. So oat, pretty quick to grow. Uh, the canola, still growing. The soybeans, still growing. Sorghum is ready to harvest. So the sorghum and the oats are ready together. That's good to know. All seed radish, ready to go. And grass, no change. All right, let's sleep again. All right, here we are. Next day, wheat still growing. Barley still growing. Uh, oats ready to harvest. Canola has has a bit of, had a bit of a visual change. Still not ready. Soybeans almost ready to go. Sorghum ready to go. All seed radish no change. Grass no change. All right, let's sleep again. All right, wheat is almost ready to go. Barley ready to go. So the barley's now ready. Okay. Oats been ready to go. Canola is almost ready so you can see now it's starting to flower uh, soybeans are ready to harvest sorghum no change all seed radish and grass no change all right let's take a quick look at the growth map so you can see the only ones we've got left are wheat and canola all right let's see all right here we are so i forget which day this is but i'll throw it up on the screen so wheat is ready to harvest the barley is ready to harvest Oh, it's been ready for a while. The canola is still not ready. Because it hasn't changed colour yet. Soybeans, no change. Sorghum, no change. All seed radish, no change. And grass, no change. All right, let's sleep again. All right, wheat, ready to harvest. 
barley is ready, oats is ready, canola is ready, soy is ready, sorghum ready, all seed radish ready, and grass ready. So that's everything ready to go. Okay, so you can see them there. So these are all the grain crops available with the cedars. So I do like the color of the sorghum actually. It's quite quite vibrant when it's ready to harvest. Uh, that's the canola as well. So the oat, the barley, and the wheat are all very similar. Let's check our growth map. So you can see the growth map there, all ready to go, all ready to harvest. So job done. All right. So there you have it, they're the growth stages for the seeded planted crops in the base game. Uh, so you, as you can see there, various stages of growth. Obviously the wheat took quite lo quite a long time and the canola took quite a long time. Um, reason for that, I'm not 100% sure. I know wheat does yield quite a lot of, of crop out of it. So the longer the crop takes to grow, generally speaking, the yield is a bit higher. Uh, sorghum does yield pretty well also but it also depends on your field preparation steps and everything else that you do prior to harvesting all right let's take a look at the help menu uh, the other thing to mention quickly is we didn't get any weeds so you'll notice there are no weeds in any of these crops that's because we plowed this entire field prior to this test so i'd be interested to see if we direct drilled into a, uh, an unplowed field whether we would get uh, various stages of weeds in in each of these so that would be something to investigate potentially for another video all right guys thanks very much for watching really appreciate it uh, any questions leave them below hit the like if hit the like button if the video helped you out uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye for now